Okay, hi, Raphael. This is um, a little analysis I did with Nicholas, uh, Nicholas's serve. So I just want to go through a few points that I found you might want to work on. Let's go to the first slide. So here we have um, Pierce on this side uh, here. Okay, and then Nicholas here. So the first thing I want you to notice is the feet. So you have uh, Pierce's front foot is, all his weight is on his front foot here. So he's up on his toe on his back foot. And if you see, Nicholas is, has all his weight on his back foot, and then he's up on his toe on his front. So we need to reverse that with Nicholas so that he starts with his weight on his front foot. The other thing in this slide I want you to realize is that if you notice Pierce's grip is the continental. It looks like Nicholas is continental as well, but here's the issue that I see. Pierce's racket is up and down straight, so the bottom edge is actually facing the ground, and Nicholas is turning his hand inward down, or more of his palm down to the ground almost, and you see how so this alignment is. So he needs to work on getting this alignment more like this and get his feet more in this alignment as well. So that's the first slide. <clears throat> Let's go to the second slide. All right. Let's get my shape over here. Okay. So the other, th the next thing I want you to think about is <clears throat> right here, Nicholas is starting to pick up his left toe, okay? And Pierce's left toe is firmly planted on the ground. Um, the other thing I want you to think about is, you know, if you can get um, the, you know, the feet are, are, they both the toes can be pointed in the same direction. I know that his left toe here is pointed at the left <clears throat> post there, and that's a typical, um, alignment and that's fine but the, you know the biggest the biggest issue is that the toe should be at this point should be loading into the ground both the toes um, if you already noticed pierce has already coiled his upper body so we can see his chest here and nicholas's chest is still pointing to the side fence so um the other thing you want to think about is see how pierce's hips are coiled and his shoulders are coiled, and then Nicholas is, he hasn't coiled at all in this photo, okay? Tossing arm looks pretty good, but the tossing arm is going to be more in this fashion here if the hips and, uh, hips and shoulders actually coil. So you can see in, in the next photo, if you don't coil at this point, then once you get to the loading phase here, you're not going to be coiled. Okay, so this is something that you, he needs to work on right now so he gets in a good habit. I mean, overall, I think the position here, overall, I mean, he's got his knees bending over his toes, just like Pierce. Um, the only thing I, um, I see here is um, the coiling. There's a coiling issue here. So Pierce, his, his hips are coiled nicely. You can see his chest. And the other thing is, <clears throat> I can't see how where his elbow is here, Nicholas. It looks like it's high enough, um, but because he's not coiling, that's, that's a problem. So you should be able to see the face of the racket, the chest, the hips, okay? Um, I don't know how vertical uh, Nicholas's left arm is because he's not coiled. So eventually, you know, Pierce's arm is going to be more back, Right, so it's it's going to be more. Let's see. Let's do this. So we can get it there. Go. So eventually, you know, you want that left arm almost vertical like that. So obviously, there's still stuff working on with Pierce, but the biggest issue here is the coiling. Right, so we need to get this coiling established in Nicholas right away. All right, let's go to the next stage. So because there isn't any coiling in the previous two, okay, 
here's here's big, here's what the issue is. So if you can see Pierce, his chest right here is pointing up to the sky. Okay, so let's get an arrow in here. So at this point, you want your chest pointing up to the sky like that. All right, and right now, let me get this. Sorry. Right now, Nicholas's chest is pointing more to the side fence like that. Okay, so that's that's going to be an issue because what's going to happen is Nicholas, if you can see here, he's actually starting to rotate already into the court. Okay, and so Pierce is staying on his side. What we say, what we call staying on your side. Okay, because his chest is pointing up, right? And so what's happening here is Nicholas is already rotating his shoulders and turning his shoulders into the court, okay? And, and all, the, all the energy for Pierce here is going upward, okay? So Nicholas is rotating and turning into the court, and Pierce is pushing up with his energy from his legs. So all his energy from his legs is going up right here. So he's going, he's driving up to the sky and Nicholas is, is just rotating around like this, okay, into the court, okay? So you can see here that, let's get my shape again. See here that Pierce is still pretty much on his side. Okay, need to work on Pierce's hips a little bit. Nicholas's hips are pretty good. He's on he's on his side more. But the problem is this is the biggest problem right here. Look at where Nicholas's toss ends up being versus Pierce's toss. Now this is crucial. So this is how you can explain it. Um, to Nicholas. Okay, so I'm going to put two bars here. Right, let's get two more bars over here. Like this. So this is what we call. There's his head. Okay, and here's Nicholas's hand. Okay, so this is what we call inside the box or outside the box. So we got Pierce's head here. And we have his hand right there. Let's just extend these up a little bit so you can see the box, if you will. Okay, so we can see that Nicholas's toss is outside the box, okay? So it's not in the box, okay? So let's duplicate that there. And Pierce's toss is inside the box here. And that's where you want it. You want the toss to be inside the box, which is between your head and your hand, where your hand is. Okay, so that's the biggest thing is, once you once the player gets the toss inside the box, you can see these yellow lines. Okay, so these yellow lines could, should create sort of an an arrow, a right arrow motion. And see his 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 arm just his racket just goes off to the right, trying to chase the ball. And so Nicholas here is chasing the ball outside the box, and Pierce's toss is right inside the box. So that's the biggest thing is getting a player to toss the ball in between their hand and their head. And that's why you want to film them from behind so you can see where this toss lands once you stop the video or pause it at this point of contact. So we go to the next slide. And so this is crucial as well. So let's go back, get a symbol. I want you to notice here. So um, the shoulder here for Pierce 
is rotating internally. Okay, so he's rotating his shoulder internally, which is causing his palm to pronate, okay, or his wrist to pronate. Okay, so we want to teach not necessarily pronation. I mean, although it's that's gonna you want that to happen, but you want to teach more internal rotation. So if you rotate your shoulder internally, your your palm pronates out like that, like in Pierce's case. But if we notice over here on this side duplicate this is that Nicholas's shoulder is not rotating internally it's just hitting through like this and thus he's hitting through his wrist is snapping down this is what we do not want you don't want the wrist to snap down like this mainly because you can get injury on this to top part of the wrist you can get injury in, with this tendon here okay so that's that's a big issue okay he's not internally rotating like Pierce is internally rotating the shoulder, he will do it better, you know, as we practice, and therefore his palm. So we can see the racket face. We can see the, the, the part of the racket that he contacted the ball with. And over here, you can't really see it because it's blacked out, but the actual, the racket is facing down to the ground because he's snapping his wrist instead of internally rotating his shoulder. I do like the way Nicholas is staying on his side, though. You know, you can still see his hips. He's still on his side with his hips and shoulders. Pierce is rotating. He's over-rotating his hips. So that's something that doesn't happen every shot we have, just particularly in this one. But he needs to be hip. They need to be hip over hip. So hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder. Pierce is kind of shoulder over shoulder, but he definitely needs to work on hip over hip. All right? But this is the biggest thing is this wrist is not pronating because his shoulder is not internally rotating like it is over here. Okay. And then the last one is um, the balanced finish. You want a balanced finish. So if you can see here, Pierce's chest is up, right? And it's pointing forward toward the net. Okay. All right. And over here, we have Nicholas, his, he's basically broken here at the waist, so his chest is pointing down, okay? So basically, get this arrow to rotate. So Nicholas's chest is sort of pointing down, and you see how his shoulders are kind of, he's almost, his head's kind of, pulled down and he's all his weight is going forward and he's going to fall basically fall over forward whereas pierce is able to hold his balance in this position let's get an arrow over here I'll kind of show you like his he's his chest is more pointing there and his head is up you see as his chin is up he's looking forward so he's in perfect balance right he's perfectly balanced on this foot right here and Nicholas here, he's about to go to his toe, and he's going to fall over. So if we saw it, saw the video, Nicholas just falls over forward, and he's this back foot basically. When he lands this back foot on the ground, he's going to he's going to basically almost fall over forward. And this is big because you have to reset after the serve for the next ball. So even though Nicholas may, you know, he may do a good job of hitting this ball in he's going to have a hard time getting to the next ball, the S1, whereas Pierce finishes balance, balanced here. You see his chest is up, his head is up. Pierce is racking all, off, kind of all to the side here. Nicholas is wrapping his racket around his body. You really don't want to wrap it around the back of your body. You want to just kind of catch it with your left hand. You see how Pierce's left arm, his elbow is up here. And Nicholas's left elbow looks like it's kind of tucked into his body, almost tucked into his, his, his chest or his stomach. And so that's what's causing this, his body to bend over. So those are the few things that I see that can, you can make some adjustments. Um, and so we'll go through the slides one more time. So start with a good base where your weight is on your left foot, not your right foot a good position with the racket 
face, go to the next one. So good, nice coil with the body here. Okay, shoulders and hips coiling. Again, the coil position needs to be here in this position. Chin is up. Drive that way the, the player can drive up with the chest up instead of rotate around the ball. Really work on this toss position. This is probably going to be, this is probably the, to me, the most important slide out of all of them is where is the ball? Is it inside the box or is it outside the box? This serve is going to be made a lot more than this serve because of the ball, the toss inside the box. And then the internal rotation of the shoulder here, okay? And then the balance landing with the head is, um, the chin is up, the eyes are looking forward, and the, bot, the uh, chest is more in an up position facing, facing the target in a way. All right, so that's the analysis I have so far. So hopefully you guys can go out and work on a few things and um, talk to you later.